Well, hello everyone. This is Grace of GB Maltese. And I have a little unbagging to do. And as you can see, it's already been opened because I have taken one piece out of here. This is a package of patty wax. And I've had the package for a couple of weeks. And I have taken a piece out and been using it to see how I like it and how I, you know, what works best for me. And I am really, really liking it. I'm going to show you how I load my diamond painting pen up. Because I do it different than probably other people do. And that's kind of the way we do things. You find what works best for you. So, keep watching. I have all sorts of goodies in here. Okay, here we go. Now... Let me see what's inside this one. Oh, cute stickers. And this patty wax is called Warm Pear and Cedar. Oh, it smells divine. I'm going to tell you something. I have been loving working with the patty wax. Um, the other piece is missing because I've been using it. Oh, no, I didn't. Not... It comes in its, each in its own package, so the scents don't combine. I'll show you the one I've been using, because I've been digging in it. I'll show you. You dig in this stuff to get it to work. So let's see what is in this one. Okay, this is called Campfire. This I have been really looking forward to. Oh my gosh. Oh my god, I wish you could smell this. This is awesome. It's kind of a nature scent. And I got two of those. And look at that. Another sticker. Very cool. It's so, oh, it smells absolutely divine. I'll tell you that much. It's really, really nice. So, we got stickers there. Now, what else do I have? This is called Granny's Kitchen. And this is smell, supposed to smell like oatmeal cookies baking. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, my goodness. It smells so good. I know you're not supposed to eat these, but I'll tell you what. <laughs> it makes you feel like it. It's delicious. Oh, and the owner of Patty Wax is Robin Kidwell. And her YouTube channel is Distracted by Diamonds, RK. Her Instagram, Instagram is Distracted by Diamonds. And you can find Patty Wax, and it's just like this, all one word, Patty Wax, on Etsy. That's where I purchased these was on Etsy. And this is what it looks like. Patty wax. Just type that in. I'll I'm gonna link it below. Oh my goodness, this smells so wonderful. And I got two of the Granny's Kitchens. Okay. Now when you order from Robin. She, um, she's going to tell you some things. First of all, let me tell you something about this. Um, it's cold this time of year. If you've ever worked with wax or any other type of product, it's kind of brittle when it's cold. So don't just open it up and start thinking you're going to use it. It doesn't work that way. And I'll tell you more about that in a moment. Oh, look how cute. Pura Vida, Costa Rica. Yes. Very nice. Pura Vida. Yeah. Now let's see what we've got here. Bird of Paradise. This. Oh, that smells so good. And, and she puts little polymer clay pieces that will not keep you from being able to use your patty wax. I use, I dig in from the bottom. And I do mean dig in. I'm going to show you what I mean by that in a moment. 
you dig into the patty wax. You gotta be digging this stuff. And here is another bird of paradise. Okay. These smell divine. Now let me open up this one. Okay, I... Robin was very nice to include this with my package because I told her I'm going to do a giveaway on this. If you're watching this right now, this is going to be a giveaway. So keep watching. And inside the patty wax, there is a the uh, tin. We have other different little pieces. This is Japanese cherry blossom. Oh, oh, that smells nice. Japanese cherry blossom and a Starbucks sticker. A Starbucks. Cover minder. This is washi tape, and it looks like it has. It's got little flowers. I'm not sure if they're cherry blossoms or not. And then this little tiny thing. I'm not sure what we have here. <laughs> Let's take a little look. But it is so cute. It's a little. Looks like a little monkey. And this is what it says. This sample of scented drill pin wax is provided by Patty Wax on Etsy. Many colors and scents available. Handmade with love in the USA. And that's another thing I like is it's made in the United States. It smells divine. You know that it's clean. And it is made from very nice resources. And I'm going to leave all these little things inside here as one of the giveaways that I'm going to be doing. Now, if you were watching, you notice that I ordered two of some of these scents because there are going to be four chances in this giveaway. Big prize is going to be this tin that includes this small piece of wax. This little to nancy one. Washi tape and this cover minder. As you can see, it's got another magnet with it. You just slide it off. It's easier if you slide magnets off to get them apart. So, and it's beautifully decorated. PW stands, of course, for Patty Wax. So, I'm going to tell you a phrase. I'm going to tell you something I want you to say in the comment below in order to enter this giveaway. First, pro first place is going to get the 10. Second place is going to get one of these. I'm just going to pick one out and just send it to whoever wins. Um, they all smell beautiful. Oh, they smell so good. Let me tell you something. When I'm working on my diamond painting, this, the smell that I have was um, apricot and chamomile. And it has been such a relaxing scent. And I'm ready to try new scents. So here's the back of it. You can see the, the pretty tops. This one is two different colors. And this has these on there. So, I'll tell you more about the giveaway in a few minutes. Let me show you how to use the patty wax. I'm going to show you how I use it. And I get wonderful results. So, let me put these things to the side. Yes, I do have mine <laughs> that I'm keeping. Because I love this stuff. It's really nice. Once you, have, once you get the hang of it, 
it's really nice and it smells good now it's not one of the it's not going to be a scent that's just going to knock your socks off and you'll be going oh my god i'm blind i can't see that scent is just too much for me so i have a diamond painting here that i've been working on i have been doing this with patty wax as you can see it has not dulled the shine So that's how, what I've been working on to get used to get used to using the patty wax. When I did my last whip and chat, I was actually using patty wax um, when I was doing this, just so I could start getting getting used to it. Now I have this much left to do, so you can kind of see this. Um, so I'm going to be using patty wax right now. Let me show you how I use it. Now, this diamond painting that I have right here has AB Diamonds in it. And if you know, AB Diamonds are hard to pick up with that pink wax. It, it will hardly pick it up. So what I've done is I've taken out some AB Diamonds, as you can see. I've got AB Diamonds and it says it on the package. And I'm going to show you just how easy it works. Now, I have a pink pen here that is empty. I'm just going to show you with this. I have this pen loaded up, and I have this pen loaded up with patty wax. And I'm going to show you how I use this. Now, here's my patty wax. <laughs> yeah. It looks like a wild boar hog has been rooting around in there then that's how i do my patty wax i just it's like you're going diving for a pearl basically is what i can think of it as so i take my pen and this is what i do Let's see if I can best way to show you i just go diving down in there well i can just use this hole i've already done i'm going down in there and i'm going along I'm just going down in there. I'm diving in. And this little piece I have, I just kind of push it around into there. Got a little piece off hanging off there. And this now has patty wax in it. The next thing I do is I take this side of my canvas and I do like this. You could do it on this piece of paper. And that just gets off any excess patty wax. And there's a little bit on the edge and I just wipe it off like that. And throw it in the garbage. You can stick it back onto your piece of wax if you want. Now, let's say that you are sitting in a cold room. I have a small space heater that I keep in my craft room because I don't, it gets cold in here. And before I start working, I turn my little space heater on to warm it up. Sometimes I'll even put the little patty wax in front of it for just, just a few seconds to warm it up. For those of you who are in really cold area, uh, let me tell you something. A little tiny, a little space heater works wonders, and they're not that expensive. But I don't like being cold. But if you're in a cold climate and you're having trouble with a patty wax, that's probably the reason. It needs to be soft enough where you can roll it on in there. Now, I'm going to fill up my little three-placer here, and I'm just going to dig it on in there, just like that. Just digging on in. There we go. And I just mash what I have. Kind of just mash it on in there. See that? Now, you may not do yours this way. You may say, oh my gosh, that's not how you're supposed to do it. Well, you know how you're supposed to do it? You're supposed to do it the way that it works for you. <laughs> that's the way you're supposed to do this stuff. <coughs> Excuse me. Then I just take my scissors, excuse me, and just even it out. Just like that. Just take it along. You can use tweezers or whatever. And I just kind of do like that. Now, I take this. Again, on the edge of my canvas, I do just kind of do like that. Another thing you can do is I have a piece of 
silicone paper here. This is silicone release paper. And you can also kind of go over it where those drills are to get it pushed in there a little bit more. Hope you can see what I'm doing here. I'll come down just a tiny bit. Maybe you can see better. And I take that pin and I just push it down onto a drill. That's underneath that piece of paper. That's all I'm going to do. Just stick it down there, okay? So that kind of pushes it on in there if it needs to be. So let's start putting some of these drills down so you can see how the patty wax works. I'm going to pick this up and put it down. Oh, I guess I need to pull you out. Sorry. I looked up like, oh my goodness, you can't see anything I'm doing now. So I'm just going to pick one of these up out of the tray. And it picks, um, it picks these AB diamonds up beautifully. It picks up any kind of diamond, any of the drills that you have. Just pick it up, put it down. And you can use any of your pens. I used to use the um, plastic tip pens, and I can still use them with this. I've just gotten to where the metal works better, and the reason I went to the plastic tip pens is I couldn't get the pink wax to stay in these metal tips. Well, the patty wax has solved that problem. I have no problem with it anymore. So I'm just picking up and go. Now, I can pick up these. See how easy those came on there? And just put them on down. There it is! You, you can't get any easier than that. But come in just a little closer. And you can maybe see that just a little bit better. We'll see. We'll see. Okay. I'm all just a few. I am not a real big multi placer. Three at a time is about all I'm going to do because I like mine to be real straight. <laughs> just, I enjoy doing one at a time. You know, if you like to multiplace, go for it. Patty wax will do it too. It'll do either one. Okay, I'll show you with the one I just uh, used this pen. I love these um, pencil grips. If you don't want to buy acrylic pens or other stuff, oh my gosh, these are wonderful. I'll link my Amazon store below if you're interested in finding those because these are great. And there we go. We're all into the patty wax. So, if you haven't tried patty wax and want to give it a try, I'm going to give you a chance to win some patty wax. But this smells wonderful. And after you've been messing around, you can smell your fingers and they smell good. So you're not going to have a, a pink squishy mess. And as you can see, I didn't do anything special to start using this. Everybody's different in how they do this. But the, main, the biggest thing is to make sure... Your patty wax isn't frozen solid. It's just not going to work well. Um, people say, oh, it comes out of my pen. Well, I don't have it coming out of my pen. Um, I was having trouble, getting more trouble with some of the pink wax, wanting to fall out all the time. So I thought, okay, I'm going to try the patty wax. And I like it. I'll do one more. Three. I don't know if I can see what I'm doing. There we go. I don't have my light on or anything. It's harder for me to say. Okay, so I've laid a few down. Did it dull the shine? Uh, you tell me. It does not dull the shine on these drills. They are still beautiful and shiny. Yep, I've been using patty wax all the way around. And I'm really, really liking it. Um, so... What do you need to do to be entered to win some patty wax? 
Well, what I want you to do below in the comment, if you want to be entered into this little, oops, oh, I dropped one. I dropped campfire back here. Okay, if you want to be entered into this drawing, I want you to comment below. Hmm. Oh my goodness. I just love this tin. <laughs> Isn't it pretty? So this is going to be first prize. Then I'm just going to pick one up and just put it in the bag. Um, I'll tell you what. I want you to comment below. Um... Patty wax smells great. It does to me. <laughs> How about patty wax smells great? Is what I want you to comment below. If you want to be into this drawing, you need to comment patty wax. Here's how you spell it patty wax smells great. Great. Smells. S-M-E-L-L-S. -L -L great. Patty wax smells great. That's all you need to do. If you don't put that phrase into the comment, then I will not consider that you want it to be in the drawing. So, that's all you need to do. Patty wax smells great. I love this stuff. Um, it keeps the shine on your drills. So I hope that helped a little bit. Remember, root around on in there. It ain't going to hurt anything. <laughs> so I've been playing around with it, trying to find my best way to use it, and that was mine. So I hope you're having a blessed day. Remember to tell the ones that you love that you love them every day. I love you guys. You take care. Hope you're having a wonderfully blessed day and night. Bye.